in the UP. Up in uh, Michigan, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, man, that's going to have me go all the way down past Chicago around because I literally just have to cross the bay to my next guy. There might but have been a ferry. There's a north way. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not gonna, gonna go put all that, that stuff on a ferry. <laughs> <laughs> not on the Great Lakes. <laughs> Fair enough. Down with the Edmund Fitzgerald. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There are more. There are more shipwrecks <laughs> in the Great Lakes than there are on some of the coasts of the oceans. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> probably we're good to go here. We'll yep. go ahead and uh, start another wonderful edition of Minerals Live here. Yep. Uh, there we go. Ooh, hey, yeah. cow, cowboy edition. This one, uh, folks, uh, we're going to be talking today mostly about our upcoming road trips. It's that time of year when we start our ventures out. This uh, this title page is a little more applicable to my trip. <laughs> yeah. Throw a few rocks in the saddlebag and head west, but um, Christopher heads east. And, um, you know, his... He has his scenic spots, too. But yeah, there's horse riding rather to the east. The it's, it's just mostly, you know, in forested areas. <laughs> forest, yes. Well, you get up in Appalachia Great and plans, other areas. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's quite pretty. Yep. Your spots. For and sure. you're going to Florida, too. Which is yeah. Nice. Be going down there, Texas. down around the beach. Uh, mm-hmm. Should be in Texas during the uh, eclipse. eclipse. Well, mm-hmm. It wasn't, wasn't what I had planned, but I will be in the, uh, at least in, in totality for like maybe about a minute or so. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Turn I on think, your headlights. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I won't be driving it. Oh, you're going to pull yeah. over and look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I'll nice. probably actually be doing a show. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, go outside yeah. and have a look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fun. So uh, you're heading out when? I'm going to be heading out April the 4th. Mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, I'll, you know, be going down through Texas and then yeah, so, uh, the southern states and then mm-hmm. east coast and then through the Midwest and back home. So... I'll be driving like crazy trying to see as many people as I can. That's good. Yep. yep. All the way up and around, big loop. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a <laughs> multiple loops on those kind exactly of S curves. I've, yeah. I've been there. Oh, man. That, and it makes the trip ever so much longer. Yeah, yeah. there's just so many people. Right. Got to see them. Yeah. They're expecting I'm it. Looking forward mm-hmm. to actually seeing at least a couple of new collections this time around. Oh, good. I mm-hmm. know there's there's at least two or three people that I haven't visited them in their homes before. I've just mm-hmm. seen them at shows. So okay, uh, right. really, uh, that's one of my favorite parts is getting to see people's collections. It's just, right. uh, you know, oh, absolutely. I love minerals too. So. Well, you got to get out there and learn yourself. You know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of things that uh, don't come around to shows very often. Oh yeah. And that was a lot of the fun with the span collection that we got. Yeah. Uh, the 700 pieces from them. Uh, they're just things that we got that just haven't been on the market in so long and we'll definitely have a lot of that material with us on these trips Mm -hmm. quite a few uh Mm -hmm. new things i had never heard of and then uh um you know some even multiples of ones like the carolites Mm -hmm. uh just some absolute killer carolites right carolites yeah Mm -hmm. i love those yep absolutely (laughs) and i'll be heading out uh the 29th of april i'm gonna hang out until then uh and uh, head west Start uh, in the northwest, head uh, north, and then uh, end up in Tucson for mm-hmm. another open house, or as they call it in Britain, the open days, mm, <laughs> at uh, the Fine Mineral Gallery in Tucson, the weekend, Mother's Day weekend. Oh, nice. Are you doing an event at the uh, Rice Museum as well this time around? Uh, I'm going to do that in uh, early August. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool. Yeah. 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 I'm moving it from November, the first weekend of November, to uh, early August. Um, it's a little dreary up there. Um, I can see that. In November, uh, I think it affected uh, attendance, and it certainly affected my move in and out in the pouring rain. Ooh, mm. That's awful. Yeah. Well, that's that's so, no fun. Mm. I've, I've had to do that. So I talked to Kim, and uh, we're going to start doing it in August. Nice. So, Good call. Yep. I uh, saw some posted pictures of that museum. Uh, mm-hmm. Somebody posted like a lot of pictures of the museum. I'd never seen what it looked like on the inside. It mm-hmm. looks like it's like a really nice kind of rustic look on the mm-hmm. outside. Right. But a really sharp, just beautifully designed uh, museum on the inside. Right. Well, it was somebody's home. I mean, obviously, it was mm-hmm. the Rice's home. Of, and uh, they converted it mm-hmm. into a museum. And uh, so it has... Kind of a homey feel. It does, yeah. And uh, but yet it's um it's in a very nice museum. Very cool. And it's certainly out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's uh, kind of northwest of uh, Portland there. All so right. if you're up there, I definitely highly recommend it. You've oh got yeah, some beautiful minerals. If I uh, if I ever get up in that neighborhood, that's definitely one of my stops. You should. Yep. And um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> what I was going to say. Uh, no, they're 
it's a beautiful museum and oh yeah i know what i was gonna say they have a very nice mineral in the uh, almond rose oh, which is yes. <laughs> one of the uh kind of the twin piece of the alma king which is at mm-hmm. the denver museum so really good associations on that piece it's got the calcite right. the mm-hmm. fluorite a lot of right and it's more on more of the sulfide where the uh, alma king was on a quartz covered matrix mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it's a beauty definitely if you're in the area and they have the most incredible uh, petrified wood collection I've ever oh, seen. Oh, yeah, I saw some mm-hmm. of those in the pictures. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, very cool. Probably got off on that, I'm not <laughs> sure, but uh, a little pitch for the Rice Museum. So, you're off on the, the, the 4th of April, and um, you'll end up back here, I think you said on the 24th. About the 24th, yeah, or the tar- 24th is what I'm targeting, yes. Targeting. So, you'll have a little bit of leeway since I'm not going to try to leave before the 29th. Okay. So, mm, you know, if it bleeds to the 25th or early 26th <laughs> we'll like to have a day to manipulate the inventory for sure for, for the uh, collectors on the west coast what little i bring back yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm, you know people people think that uh you know gosh you were already over at this place or that place what do you have left we have so many rocks folks i they, there's always something for somebody Oh, yeah. And tastes mm-hmm. are so different. Right. It's one of those things that uh, when I was, before I, you know, started working here, when I would go to, uh, you know, someplace uh, with another collector mm-hmm. and we would be looking, you know, at a show or something like this, like, oh, man, what if we wanted to fight over the same piece? Yeah, it rarely happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everybody's tastes are so different. <laughs> right. I mean, don't guess wrong, you can. But yeah. it, uh, it rarely does happen. And there's always something there. Mm-hmm. You know, when we're, we're on the road. We obviously don't take everything you would see at a show like in Tucson or Denver, but we have, what, a thousand pieces in the van at least. Yeah. So. And uh, please feel free to reach out to oh, us, yeah. you know, before we do these trips so we can make sure that we are packing something that you want to see. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I, I got, speaking of the Rice Museum, we got to the Rice Museum last uh, November, and the guy, one of the collectors I see there said, uh, oh, do you still have this? Uh, I'd really like to see it. And I'm like, pretty sure we do, but it's at the shop. I brought yep. it last year, and I didn't want to bring the same material this year. Mm-hmm. and. Yeah, gotta ask. Mm. Yeah, we do try to rotate the mm-hmm. uh, rotate the offerings when we come out. For Absolutely. Sure. So you're always seeing something fresh and new. But if there was something you saw on a previous trip or at a show, make sure you send us a message to make sure we bring it. Definitely. So, um, any other uh, tidbits of information you would like to? Uh, uh, not a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. Just you know, uh, been a little while since Tucson show. But Tucson mm-hmm. was really great this oh, yeah. year. A lot of people. Attendance was was way up. Oh, uh, uh, collectors were enthusiastic. Mm-hmm. There were great talks given. Uh, just you know, it was uh, it was Tucson in in pretty much full swing again. So right. It was yeah. really great to see. Definitely felt like the good old days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to. Oh, uh, unfortunately, I'm going to miss. There's going to be the the April show here in uh, the Denver area mm-hmm. over the Crown Plaza. That'll be, I think, the 14th or so. It sounds right. Uh, that that weekend, mm-hmm. and then uh, we're looking forward to our new venue uh, here in Denver mm-hmm. uh, at the uh, West in Westminster. Mm-hmm. Uh, I. Go ahead and book some rooms if you're planning on coming. Uh, it's mm-hmm. going to be a great venue. Yep. Uh, I was really surprised to see that not only is the main show and the Hard Rock Summit going to be there as well as AGTA, but there's going to be like, uh, they've taken half of one of the parking lots right. and there will probably be like about another 50 to 100 vendors outside in Correct. two little tent areas. Right. So really, really a lot more to see than the, the downtown right. uh, location ha- and, offered. And the tent area is actually going to be open several days before the indoor area is oh. going to be open. And yeah nice so it's that it's going to be interesting how all this works out mm. yeah and uh very cool it's it's definitely going to be massive and it's going to be something you don't want to miss for sure i think uh, i think this is going to be home for the show for sure so i'm looking forward to it and if, plenty if, of free parking yeah <laughs> even with all the tents out there unlike marty's show at the holiday inn yeah Ooh. Well, I was concerned. People fighting over parking. Let's talk about fighting. First, over I was concerned, but then it looks like there are two other full parking lots mm-hmm. aside from that. So there's like parking for 500 plus or Should more. Be plenty, yeah, right? plenty. Yep. So I know it's going to be great. And um, definitely, uh, as the inaugural year, you probably want to come. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because I think this is going to be sweet. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, anyway, at a loss for words, how awesome I think this is going to be. <laughs> Yeah, no, any, anything, I, you know, as much as I love the Hard Rock Summit downtown, uh, once you're in the building, it was great, but 
the parking situation being downtown getting around so for lunch and mm-hmm. people wanting to get around and walk it, it it's going to be so much better that area up uh 36 and sheridan where the weston is located mm-hmm. uh, a lot of great restaurants Ooh, nice. you don't have to stay at the weston there's a lot of other great hotels in the mm-hmm. area and um you're still pretty close to downtown i mean it's only about 10 minutes yeah so. Uh, I'll be interested to see what happens with the Crown Plaza show. Uh, so it Done. doesn't look like they're going to be there for September. So mm-hmm. hopefully they'll actually move towards, you know, the right. Westminster area. Hopefully yeah. she finds something really good. Yeah, Sandra sent out an email last week saying, you know, April's definitely on at mm-hmm. the Crown, but that will be it. And um, she's looking at a couple of different properties for the fall show, and we'll see. She said, well, I'll keep you updated, so... Hopefully she does get it close because if she goes like southwest towards Parker, it's just yeah, you know, it'd be a nightmare. Yeah, but we'll although see. there's still going to be the minerals something, just minerals, just minerals show will still presumably be out there near around the Crown because that was in the hotels. Right yeah, next it was. To the a, I think it was in a Marriott, mm-hmm. uh, kind of about half a mile away or so. Yeah, so it'll still be something mm-hmm. out there, right? All over town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it just works out that way sometimes. Yep. You have to be flexible when you're a mineral collector and at these shows. For sure. As unfortunate as it is, just got to budget your time and move around. Yep. So, uh, I think, frankly, as far as um, new info, uh, we are definitely getting ready to open up the the Detroit City Portal at the Sweet Home Mine here in a few weeks. So hopefully, Looking forward uh, to that. 2024 is a bountiful year for us, so mm-hmm. we'll definitely keep you posted on that in the upcoming Minerals Lives, uh, which probably the next one will be uh, June. <laughs> so, yeah, if uh, even then, uh, yeah, yeah, June, probably June, because I'll be back for sure. I'm going in May in China. We're doing uh, the show in Nanjing. that will be the second year for that show, mm-hmm. and I should be back mid-June for that. So we, oh, uh, nice. Yeah, we definitely will be back on Minerals Live in mid June to kind of give you an update on what uh, the fall shows are looking like and and other upcoming fall or summer trips because we uh, do summer trips as well. That Nanjing show is going to be exciting. Yeah, take plenty of pictures on that one because it's what they're they're, they're mm-hmm. they were at three hundred vendors for their first show mm-hmm. and they're shooting to get upwards of five hundred the next for year too. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it. Definitely looks great. I've seen the floor plan. Mm-hmm. Uh, there'll definitely be a lot of other great dealers there. Uh, Fine Minerals International will be there, and uh, our friend down in Grapevine will be there, and a few other good dealers. So Excellent. Mm-hmm. So uh, keep you updated on that. Like uh, Christopher said, we'll definitely have lots of pictures for that show, uh, Minerals Live show in mid-June. Nice. So, I guess uh, without further ado, because we've had people complaining <laughs> about how much we ramble. So we'll just get right we'll just get right to the mineral <laughs> shit sale. So talk, uh, talk, talk, get to the rocks. No. Get to the point. Which I'm excited for our first one here because this is one that I had never heard of until just now. I never heard of this uh, this really? variety before. Okay. Yeah. This is brand spanking new to me. Right. Mm. Uh, this is a kermesite. Kermesite specimen, yep. Mm. From well, Klarski or the uh, <laughs> I, I conveniently let you try to pronounce Kolarski that. Kolarski Yurk Deposit, Slovakia? It's in from Slovakia, that's okay. all I would say. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pronunciations are fun. When I was oh, doing yeah. uh, the YouTube videos all the time, I had said one of the one of my one of the ones I had never got around to doing was a uh, pronunciation. Just get mm. like several people on there to just utterly butcher. <laughs> right. Yes, <laughs> it's avoid fun. it. Yes. <laughs> As you can see, this fun little specimen, it has been sawn on the back. If you uh, really want, uh, before we ship it out to you, we could bump it. Mm-hmm. Kind of rough that up a little bit so it's not a sawn back. But this is a great example of a kermesite, which is a antimony oxysulfide. And that's as far as my mineral knowledge goes. Closely related to stibnite, I believe. Mm-hmm. And that's beautiful. what's beautiful. That, that was what surprised me is, is uh, that it was uh, so closely related to stibnite. Because the color reminds me of camerite and erythrite, that, mm-hmm. that really reddish purple. Mm-hmm. Almost got a little bluing going on in there, right. too. But, uh, yeah, Just very nice radial sprays, mm-hmm. uh, two centimeters across. 
Yep, that big spray up spray. there, kind of upper left center. Mm -hmm. And the specimen itself on Matrix is uh, four and a half by seven and a half by three centimeters. Mm -hmm. Definitely a great example, and it's very friendly priced. We'll give it one more little For sure. spin around on the turntable before we uh, spit out the price. And we'll wait for, uh, I guess we can show that backside again. And again, as I said, we would be happy to bump that for you. But mm -hmm. back in the day in these old localities, they just sawed them off and moved them along. But this is a pretty, pretty little piece. And it's on our website as well, so if you okay. uh, want to... Uh, have a gander at it on our website you're certainly welcome and i'll take a moment to say that all the photography on today's show is done by invideo fine minerals ifm mm -hmm. our friends uh, will and dustin they come in every week and do wonderful photography for us so we really appreciate it absolutely uh, and uh, this specimen today is 875 dollars Tried to keep everything on the show today under a thousand, and uh, with the exception of specimen six, and we all know where specimen <laughs> six usually comes from. So, anyway, without further ado, we will move on to specimen number two. Number two. Very pretty little piece. Yep. Uh, love this locality. Love the octahedrons from here, and. Uh, the nice uh, purple and does this one have a little bit of green zoning there's inside? some there's a little yeah. bit of green you really got to get it under the light to see it and, yeah you know you can see it in the picture but it's just yeah. not that clear uh pretty good sized uh florid octahedron from the don uh mine mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. china um seven by 4.5 by 4.5 centimeters is the size of the overall specimen mm -hmm. and uh the octahedron is 3.2 centimeters on an edge mm-hmm We'll be there in a second, folks. Uh, <laughs> Got to readjust here. There we go. Mm. Very nice. Uh, fluorites are very popular. Uh, mm -hmm. It's, uh, I mean, I know so many people, myself included, that, you know, that's what, that, it's, a, it's a great starter. Mm -hmm. uh, mineral because you get a lot of color you get a lot of variety uh, you can get some really really great prices on them and right. just a lot of interesting associations colors everything absolutely and this is just a nice little fluoride absolutely and uh, yes yeah, so quartz calcite uh, would not be another great uh, mix into that mm -hmm. uh, starter collection for sure. Although that being said, I know people with vast extensive collections that are all one of any of those three. Oh, absolutely. You know, just yes. fluorite, just quartz, just calcite. Right. As you can see, as it's spinning around on the turntable as the light penetrates it, there are some green hues that come through there. Yeah. This is pretty classic for the locality. These were all etched out of quartz. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's etched a little bit on the back. back it looks side. like they're a little mm -hmm. void right. back there. That's yep. kind of cool. Yep, absolutely. This is one of those, uh, I kind of call them, you know, really good in-hand specimens. It uh, mm -hmm. displays nicely, but you really want to pick it up and just see what's going on right. all around the Fawn specimen. Fawn a little, little bit. We've got a few Chinese florets like that. Cool. Yep. Give you a little bit of close-up of the, how that guy looks. And today, this piece is going to fly at... One hundred and forty dollars. Very affordable. Absolutely. Definitely want to get uh, chime in quick on a lot of the pieces in this show. I think a lot of them. I, I really try to go out of my way to find good values and nice pieces for collectors out there. So very nice. The uh, typical minerals live. <laughs> so anyway, I, I always appreciate that as I am a value shopper myself. Ah, me too. <laughs> mm -hmm. As you get longer in the tooth on this uh hobby you definitely get pickier that's so, for sure yeah it's a good thing as you educate yourself that's why it's so important to go to shows mm -hmm. you, know, you know people say ah gosh you know that van comes around a couple of times a year <laughs> you know or i don't i don't need to go all the way out there and spend all that money but it's only you know i'm I shouldn't say it's only a couple thousand dollars. That is a lot of money to to spend a week in Tucson, yeah, or you know five days or so. But uh, it's it's well it, the investment is well worth it. It really, really is. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you look at, uh, I mean, when you look at a lot of industry seminars, mm -hmm. how much those cost, and the fact right. that you can go to Tucson, yep. be there for a week or two, and probably hit at least two or three talks a day, right? Absolutely worth the trip. Absolutely, just for the education value, right? And um, 
Most of those great talks are at the Fine Mineral Gallery. Yes, they Just are. <laughs> put a little plug in there for us. Yep. Right across the hall from our room. So, you know, definitely um, want to stop in to see the Collector's Edge when you're there. Had some really, really great, uh, great uh, displays as well this year. Yeah. Uh, Malcan right. Tourmalines, mm -hmm. the Uruguayan Amethysts. Mm -hmm. Uh, Heritage Auction uh, mm -hmm. gave like great preview of uh, that, their upcoming stuff. auction. I think the, uh, uh, it's, it's not it's, handy here. It's going on right now. I think it ends in about a week, week or a week yeah, and a half. Yeah, the twenty fifth. I want to yeah. say. And uh, yeah, some good Elmwood fluorides. Mm -hmm. There was a really nice blue cap tourmaline, if I remember mm -hmm. correctly. Uh, mm -hmm. Our friends at Heritage are getting some good things to put We're out ramping there. Ramping her up, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. <laughs> there was a, there was an auction at Bonhams apparently last week that. Um, there's there's some deals to be had there too. Oh, I must have missed that one. Yeah. Hmm. So, our uh, internet guy Andreas, he, uh, he scours the internet for that kind of stuff and keeps us up to date. So. Nice. But yeah, the last good uh, piece of jewelry I got was from mm. a Bonhams auction, and I just finally found the uh, the tourmaline to go with it. Oh, so. very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so specimen number three. Number I three. I think this thing is a real cutie. Uh, oh, nice little piece of kidney ore. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, so uh, hematite uh, from the Iron Hill Drist, uh, District mm -hmm. in New Mexico. Yep. This is a really lovely one. I really like this piece. Yeah. I, I attempted myself to um, 3.8 by 3.7 by 3.2 centimeters. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, one of the things I do when I collect a mineral variety, I often try to get uh, as many of the forms uh, in which you find it, and mm -hmm. this is an excellent, excellent uh, kidney stone. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, if this was in your kidney, you're in, you're you're in pain. In trouble, yes. Yeah, you're whisked off to the uh, oh surgery room. Oh my early. gosh. Yep. Anyway. Oh, and I see a span label. That's or right. Or span number on that. Uh, 1856 looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely oh, a, 11. 1856. 11 I think it's 11. I'll spin around here again. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, absolute cutie. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is 11856. Mm -hmm. My eyesight isn't what it used to be, <laughs> folks. Mm. Uh, got a little bit of the matrix there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the Iron Hill District, mm -hmm. um, is this the typical hematite you'd see from that locality, or do you get multiple? i got to be honest ones? with you, Christopher, this is the first piece from okay. this deposit that I have ever seen for sale, at least at the Collector's Edge. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's very cool. Yeah, just up down. A uh, lot of, uh, lot of uh, New Mexico collectors out there, as well as uh, just, you know, southwestern collectors in general. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, this is one that... Uh, I'd be real happy to have if I was collecting that area. For sure. And the price on it is muy friendly. This, we'll give it one more spin around mm -hmm. on the turntable before we uh, say anything. Yep, you're right. Absolutely. It even says it on the label. I can see it now. It kind of blended in as yeah, a star Yeah, it hides there. on that one side. But mm, a very cool little Matrix piece. Uh, it's somewhere between a fat toenail and a small miniature. <laughs> but uh, it's a super aesthetic little piece. For, I think it's just a no-brainer price. We'll go back here. I like that you're seeing a little bit of the red too. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, you know, hence hematite. Yes. <laughs> At three hundred dollars, I think this one is going to go. That's killer. Away, yeah. yeah, for sure. So, uh, super that's, little piece. Mm. That's one. Yeah, that won't sit around too long. Nope. All right. Moving um, right along. Yep. That, was there something else you wanted nope. to say about that? That was it. I was just going to say on our, on our next piece, I was mm -hmm. trying to see what we had. Oh, was, no, no peeking. Mm -hmm. I, I was wondering <laughs> if we were sticking with the botryoidal forms there. No, no. No. Yeah. Oh, we're going for the crystalline one of these. We are. We mm -hmm. are. Here oh, we that's nice. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. That's, well, that's a, that. Wow. That's okay. a pretty cool little piece. Yeah. Uh, so uh, here we're looking at uh, mimetite and mm -hmm. cerusite from the Sumeb mine, Namibia. Right. And that's some prismatic crystals there. Yep. Very, very nice. Not what I was expecting. Okay. Not that not that long, you know, relative of a crystal. That's really cool. Right. Uh, it's a smaller specimen. Uh, uh -huh. But, uh, you know, 3.5 by 3 by 2.5 centimeters with the uh, mimetites uh, to 2.8 centimeters tall. But that's a very nice prismatic elongated mimetite crystal. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yep. The one on the very left of the specimen is in good condition. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, the one in the center and the one on the lower right there is does have a little bit of damage on it. You got but, it. Um, 
It is reflected in the uh, price. So yep. this is a very friendly price again today. Mm -hmm. And talk about collectible localities. You right. uh, can't go wrong with Sumeb <laughs> yep. if you're building a collection around a locality. That's for Absolutely. sure. If you're looking for a prismatic uh, series or uh, <laughs> mimetite, yeah. that there's serucite on this specimen as well. Especially if you look at it under a scope, there's a little cavity in the very middle of this. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't usually cater to... Uh, Micro mount collectors, but that mm -hmm. little cavity in the middle there, there's some cool stuff going on in there. So if you uh, like to look at your rocks under a microscope, there's a lot of fun stuff on this piece as well. But a uh, beautiful piece at a very affordable price. Very nice. Yeah, we'll uh, go ahead and get to the still uh, again and show the price at just $525. Very good. Yep. Sh yep. Ship to your door. So Mimitite and Suricide combo, you know, it's not a very commonly seen combination and it's a very pretty piece. Uh -uh. Really good color. So we will move on, I guess. Uh -huh. Specimen and number five. Yep, next we have one of my favorite localities for gold. Really? Mm. Yeah, no, well, Nevada in general. Round okay. Mountain, around Mountain's good, but uh, I do like Nevada Golds. Uh -huh. I, I don't own many, very many golds, but I think like two of the ones that I uh, have are Nevada golds. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, gold from the Round Mountain Mine in Nevada. Mm -hmm. uh, two and a half by one and a half by one centimeter. Uh, very nicely crystallized. Uh, one point six centimeters tall. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the the spinel is one point six millimeters oh, tall. Oh, the, the spinel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole okay, piece. Gotcha. Is, the whole piece is. Uh, it, it's a good sized thumbnail. Yeah. I just want to make sure that it's clear. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Mm. Yep. Very nice. Yep. I want to see the big picture again. Yep. And there's a, <laughs> there's an octahedron on this as well, Ooh. which is uh, seven millimeters across. You can kind of see it on the left side above the, nice. the blob of uh, clay tack there. Mm -hmm. There's a seven millimeter octahedron on this piece as well. That is a really cool piece. You have that combination of having that little spinel spire on one side mm -hmm. and an octahedron on the other. I like that. Yep. If I would have had a little more time, I'd have done a little bit more photography. You can see the, the octahedron there a little clearer yeah. now as it comes around. Super little piece for a really, really good price. Very good, yeah. So, yep. Let's see. I want to see that big picture again. Yep. Yeah. There, there we go. go. Yep. There we go. There's that. And then we'll go into the price at just $525 shipped to your door. Sweet. Yeah. Is, if, you, if you're a thumbnail collector or a gold collector and you need a nice little round mountain piece, this this, this is super sweet. Now, do you, mm -hmm. do you happen to know, is this an older piece that we've had? or? Uh, this piece, I believe, came... One, it could have been one that I uh, got out of round mountain uh, when I was there in 2007-2008. Okay. And uh, kind of circulated around. Cool. Yep. And, you know, it really doesn't factor into crystal and gold so much the weight, but I just got to say, gold prices have been insane lately. Well, like they spiked up to 2200 mm -hmm. and still is balancing around like 2150 It's been like absolutely crazy. Right. Um, but yeah, just a really, really nice gold piece there. I like yeah. that. Yep. Me too. If I didn't have it already, a <laughs> nice little round mountain piece, I'd definitely be seriously interested in that one, too. Mm -hmm. So, this brings us to specimen number six. And we know what specimen number six is going to be. Let's all say it together. <laughs> <laughs> it's red. It's red. Mm, yep. So, anyway. Uh, oh, and it's actually got a nice little, one of my favorite associations from the mine, too. Yep, this is a great piece, uh, especially for the price. This, oh, this yeah. This piece kind of... Well, it was it was in uh, kind of uh, private hands for a while, and uh, we got it uh, we got it back, and uh, we are able to offer this at a smoking price. Yeah, rotocross site and fluorite. Sorry, go ahead. No, keep uh, from the uh, one hundred six pocket. Mm -hmm. Oh, one hundred six. Yep. Yep. Uh, four point seven by six by three and a half centimeters. Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, the rotocrosite two point two centimeters on edge and the fluorite two centimeters across. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nicely formed. Yeah, this is a you know kind of that double stack of crystals mm -hmm. and um, other other crystals kind of wrapped around the fluorite. This um, for what we're offering it today. This is not going to last long. That is so good. Yeah. 
you really need to see this one on the turntable to appreciate it. You see a still image of it. The, the crystals, the two main crystals, don't really stand uh, up really well. You can go back to that still picture. You'll see what I mean. If mm -hmm. you see this picture on the website, you almost think it's just one crystal, where it's actually two. And great color. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Color I'm Definitely seeing live is, is be better, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, if uh, if you are looking for a nice uh, fluoride combo from the Sweet Home Mine, this is definitely your day. Mm hmm. So, we will go back and just, I guess, we'll just put it out there. Yeah. Why hold it back any longer? $3,500 for this. Yeah. That's uh, a great deal. Yep. Mm -hmm. So good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can't beat it. Yep, and um, for especially when things like this pop up, make sure you're uh, uh, you know like, subscribe, ring the bell, mm -hmm. uh, subscribe, ring the bell, uh, so you get notified ASAP because we do you know kind of have to go first come first serve yep. uh, on these uh, on these pieces. And it's usually the sweet home piece that uh, people fight over. Yep. That so, one, that one tends to go pretty quick. And of course, you know, always check our website, collectorsedge.com. You know, we're we're putting uh, new stuff up there all the time. Mm -hmm. We it, what? No. we kind of revamped it a bit lately, mm -hmm. so there's not as much uh, up there as there used to be. So we're we're currently in the process of restocking that. So right. you know, definitely uh, keep looking through there at least uh, once or twice a week to uh, see new additions. Right, and uh, they're doing uh, embedded videos now as well. So uh, most every specimen will have a video, spin video like this uh, for it. So uh, if you're at all interested, definitely click on the video. It, uh, it's a link to Vimeo. Um, very, very safe and clean transition. Uh, you can watch a nice spin of it and uh, really get a better feel for every piece we have on the website. It's definitely a great addition to the website. Yep. IFM guys doing a great job with those uh, videos mm -hmm. as well. Yep. Yep. So anyway, um, from there. Uh, we do definitely uh, do some Instagram posting as well still. We don't do the live shows, I believe, anymore. Um, but, um, but maybe Andres, have you, when was the last time Andres did do one of those? You know, uh, part of it was just we, we kind of ran low on material for those. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, we do need to uh, we do need to sit down and actually get that uh, more mm -hmm. in line. I don't know when the last time Andres did one, though, was. Yep. But we definitely do still post uh, pictures. Um, to kind of spark uh, interest in what we're posting on mm -hmm. the website. So if you have any interest at all in anything you see on our Instagram, definitely give Andreas, A-N-D-R-E-A-S, at collectorsedge.com uh, an email, and um, he will get back to you shortly. For with, sure. With more information about that piece or anything related to it on the yep. website. So. Um, if you have any general questions, you can always also reach us at minerals at collectorsedge.com. Yep. Uh, I believe that's right about oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> so, somewhere. Yep, somewhere. <laughs> Definitely uh, liking these new monitors. So, they are They are looking really good. I was thinking we had a problem with our turntable setup, and actually it was just my monitor. Because these uh, these spins look a lot better on uh, on my computer right now. They do. So, I have to say anyway, they do. One last look at specimen number six. What are your f highlights of today, uh, um so uh of course this one this mm -hmm. is actually you know i got one in the similar price range mm -hmm. uh actually not from collector's edge oh, okay <laughs> some time ago right uh and uh i it was you know it's a nice specimen it's a little bit smaller the roms are a lot smaller a really nice but that's right. so much a better value than what i got years ago mm -hmm. uh, that, that's a that's a screaming deal on that right. Right. and that hematite yeah, uh, that hematite's just a little beauty. That's a that's a no brainer. I love this piece. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna kick myself in a year or two that I didn't buy it. But uh, you know, we always knows? give you guys the first shot, though. Yeah, absolutely. If it sits too long, though. exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, payday is coming up here, and uh, after the first April, this one could disappear. <laughs> so anyway, and another uh, one of my favorites on the show is definitely this little gold. For sure, love it. And the kermesite. Mm -hmm. That's, that's kind of looks like it's giving you one piece. of these. Yep. <laughs> like, hey, okay. Yep. Hey. Oh, you mean the gold? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of giving you that. that. Right, right. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's the okay gold. Anyway, we promised we wouldn't uh, ramble too much, so we'll just uh, 
we'll just wrap this up. Uh, I think uh, it's about a half hour show. Pretty good. Yeah, not Clean, bad at all. Tight, <laughs> all that good stuff. So uh, you're heading out on the fourth of April. Yep, and be out for about three weeks, and I'll be out uh, heading on the west on the 29th of April. Mm -hmm. Parts west for about two and a half weeks. I gotta have about a week and a half at home in between going west and going to China. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's a big trip. A I, I, I envy you for that one, but at the same time, I, I don't. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's it's a lot of work. I'm sure next year, or the year after, uh, when this gets a little better grooved, um, we'll get you over there. But mm. it's about a 20 hour flight. Well, it's a full day. Oh, full day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And um, the, the interesting thing about flying there, you lose a day, but when you come back. Free day? It's a free day. Yeah. Uh, you, you leave there about uh, 10 <laughs> in the morning, and you get home about 1 in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the other thing, if, if you're thinking about that show, so it is in May. Uh, great area. A lot of uh, cultural heritage in the area. A lot of great food. Um, so, you know, if you go to the show, it's, mm -hmm. it's the one show you're going to have 300 to 500 vendors mm -hmm. set up at the show. Mm -hmm. but there's also going to be tons of stuff to do in the, mm -hmm. uh, local area as well. Right. Great venue. Great city. Yep. Nanjing. Be there, be square. <laughs> it's, uh, I want to say going to be the last week end of May. So it's going to be from the 29th to the 2nd of June. Yeah. Mm -hmm. May 29th to the 2nd of June. And if you want to go, uh, you do need a visa to get into the country. So uh, yeah. at least Makes from sense. America if you're carrying an American mm -hmm. passport. So if you want to go, I would get on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yep. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions, again, mineralsandcollectorsedge.com. We can give you a little information. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, visa broker that we used to use is no longer in business. So mm -hmm. on, on that count, uh, we're not going to be much help. You don't know who to send you to, so I would just contact your local Chinese consulate and mm -hmm. let them direct you. So sounds good. Yep. All right. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in to mm -hmm. another Minerals Live, and mm -hmm. we'll uh, look forward to seeing you on the road and mm -hmm. uh, then later in Denver. Absolutely, and well, we'll see you before then in June. We'll yeah. hopefully be back on Minerals Live again. I wish we could do these shows a little more often, but uh, we just. Um, with, with Phil as a third wheel here, it was easy to fill in when one of us wasn't here. Um, but uh, you know, doing this show alone, <laughs> I've done it a couple times, and I just will never do it again. Gotcha. So, <laughs> anyway. I have uh, to figure out how to remote me in from the road. Ooh, yeah, I've, I actually researched that. At least it was about five years ago. I'm uh -huh. doing, uh, you know, God, I can't remember. It was, it, the, the predecessor to Zoom, uh, whatever that... Uh, Mm -hmm. conferencing uh, software was and uh, it was not great not great <laughs> uh, maybe with zoom now it's easier to uh, pull mm -hmm. somebody into one of these but uh, you know it's uh, network news type uh, level of uh, <laughs> control work uh, to, uh, to bring in multiple uh, cameras of that nature I have to delve deeper into it yeah so anyway maybe we could just put it on a phone or hold the phone up there you go yeah. that works yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks. We'll see you in June, or we'll see you sooner if you are signed up to host one of us on our road trips. Uh, again, if you live east, you better get a hold of Christopher pretty quick. Yep. And if you live in the western part of the U.S., uh, I would uh, definitely let me know in the next couple of weeks uh, to see if we can get something set up. So, for sure. Anyway, if uh, and for me at least, if I can't get you in on this uh, May trip, uh, definitely when I go out well, late July, early August, I'll have a little more leeway and a little more time, and I can't imagine I can't get you in. Sounds so, good. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you. You bet. We'll uh, <laughs> catch you on the next edition of Minerals Live. All right. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, oh. I'm getting a little slow. <laughs> so our